How was the run? It was good. It's um, Andrew and I have been running in uh, in Rwanda for the last two weeks, and it was much more humid there, and this is much drier. So after about a half a mile, I felt like the inside of my throat was made of sandpaper, partly because I was eating the dust of the Maasai. <laughs> I think I inhaled an entire village worth of dust, eat, eating all of their dust. Was, what was, was that the pace you guys normally run at? No, I think we usually run faster than this, but uh, I realized that uh, Edward can do much better than I do. <laughs> Look at Samson's shoes. So he ran in hiking boots. Yeah, he, he was running in hiking boots. And Parashi was basically running in slices of Michelin off-road tire. And, um, but Parashi looked like he was running really easy to me. Like he, yes. I think he could run a lot faster. <coughs> that was very easy for Parashi. He yeah. was really being slow and I think to accommodate our, our, feet, our face. Yeah, Parashi was running I think my watch uh, was telling me that Parashi was running probably like a, a 730 mile really easily. easily. I think We're Parashi I think Parashi could run a 630 mile really easily. Yeah, that's true. But he was he was pacing us at about 740 on the flats and maybe 8 minutes in the hills. 8 minutes in the hills. Yeah, I was And this is on you can't tell from here but stones uneven yeah roads. it's just pretty uneven and and dusty but it is soft so it's nice around the knees i can see why the kenyans do well in new york you must be like this is so easy <laughs> yeah this is run on pavement for the best kenyan the nandi the kalenjin they run about eight thousand feet high <laughs> do you think that for you do you think running in new, in new york on the smooth pavement will be easier or harder will be I guess it will be easier. Got Depends it. on the altitude. May hurt your knees a little bit. We we are not used to that. But this uh, takes so much flight. more energy for me. This takes more energy. Uh, yeah, I think so too. It takes a lot more mental focus too. Yeah. Did you guys see any animals while you were running? We did. Yeah. The vultures yeah. were circling over me the entire time. <laughs> we saw um, the warthog. We saw warthogs. Uh, we saw Thompson's gazelles. The no, fastest. That was Karachi. Yeah, that was Parashi. <laughs> no, the Th Thompson's gazelle is the fastest <coughs> antelope in East Africa. Yes, yeah? it's one of the fastest. Yeah, it goes about 78 kilometers per hour. Yeah, like 60 miles per hour, 60 yeah. miles per hour. Yeah. And um, I think that there was one Grant's gazelle in the, in the middle of the Thompson's. Did you see that? Yes, I see it. Yeah. yeah. So that was kind of like Andrew <laughs> running amongst the Maasai. Yeah, I think maybe the next day we can try out going running up in the hills because that's much higher than what we did today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little, I think we're at about here, we're maybe at 4,500 feet, 5,000 yeah. feet? Yes, 5,000. Yeah. 5,000 5, feet. Yeah, so a little bit of altitude training should, is, this is good. not a bad yeah. thing. Yeah. All right, well, we're off to take our shower under the trees. I'll get that on video. <laughs>